Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. Hello and welcome. This is an off-road or 4x4 uh, VW camper van from Yulia Campers. Uh, this vehicle will probably end up costing in excess of 100,000 euros. The price we've got here is 91 and a half but by the time you start adding all sorts of things then it goes up. Uh, 682 centimeters long, 204 wide, 265 high. Now this, the basis weight is, uh, the empty weight is under three tons. So it gives a stack of payload. Uh, 160 liter fresh water uh, tank. Uh, that is really important and that is included in the basic price. And it also comes 180 watts of solar. T tr Truma Combi uh, 4 and um, there is space for a lithium battery but that is not included uh, or the battery itself is not included in the price so in my opinion I can say this since I installed lithium four years ago it has completely changed my uh, RV experience. The way I'm able to live in the vehicle completely independent from March until October. Uh, then I find the uh, the solar is not uh, not sufficient so I've got to stop from time to time to actually uh, uh, charge the batteries and go somewhere for, for a quick charge or a slow charge, as the case may be. So, um, any case, you know, when you're in the van, you do have to sort of wash your clothes and things like that. And uh, in the winter, then it's best, I think, to go to a campsite and uh, do your, wa your washing there because it's a, uh, you can't really wash by hand when you've got to wait several days for the things to dry. So, um, there's a fair bit of space in here, but mind you, for four people, uh, I wouldn't want to be in here with three other adults here. If we were, uh, well, it depends, no? <laughs> depends on the circumstances. The uh, storage here, I suppose it's not too bad if there's enough storage for three pe four, four people, I uh, can't say. I would have to say, though, 180 litres of water, that that isn't bad and that really that's the sort of thing when you've got large numbers of people in a vehicle that's the sort of storage you want this, this is a camper van you can't expect a huge kitchen in here and that's as good as can be expected right um table can be that's it it's smallest table can be made much bigger if necessary and uh, it, also, it also gets bigger than that. There's another one down there. Um, let's show this, I can't remember. Fridge. My your fridges look the same. Thetford fridge, this is a two-way fridge, meaning it's powered from the battery. Right, so the reason for the hoovers is because I wanted to give a bit of a soundtrack to the uh, video. So I had to ask them to do it specially. I mean, it beats music anyway, isn't it? That's far, far groovier. Right, so uh, we've got uh, the bed up there, which will drop down via uh, a key here. Turn the key round, so oh, it is turned round, it's in firing position, it's ready to go. Press this button here. Let's now just put this up like that. And that's as far down as it will go.
you'd have a bit of a job sleeping down there. Well, maybe it would. You, maybe you could do it if necessary. And the storage is, of course, there and not at the very top. So with that down, let's have a look what else we've got. We can go in here. Ooh, that's tough. Bit of storage. This, uh, I'll, I'll put the thing up actually so we can uh, see. Ready to go up. And here, this bed, you, um, now here there is a problem. This, this will go up to one side and you've got storage under it. The board will come out, but because the mattress is in two parts and not three, that does make it a bit more difficult. I think that actually is a design fault. Mm -hmm. Lengthwise bed here and at the top. Alright, so let's close let's close the door. We'll close this one as well. Oh, something made a noise, don't know what it was, probably broken something. Better get out of here before they find it was me. Uh, you can see here the, the, the where the windows are. Now, uh, you're probably interested in a 4x4. There will be something in the description, I hope. And if we come around here, we can see. I'll close the, we'll close the door here as well. I'll take this thing here out the way. To make sure that doesn't get in the way. And I'm now going to close this. Forgetting that you need to close it from here. So that's what the vehicle looks like on the outside. Big Sewer 4x4 from Julia or Julia. There's the snorkel. Thanks very much for watching. This is the largest site for motorhomes and camper vans on YouTube. I hope that you will subscribe, but if you don't want to, I'll tell you when to upload anyway. So 2115 every single day, Central European time. Obviously, there are different times in different places. So for the moment, all the best from me in Dusseldorf, Germany. You can hear the hoovers going off. So that means it's possibly time to go somewhere else. First time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube. Now I've been do on YouTube now for 15 years and I've been doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well. Um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I, I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew so I had to feel a hundred percent about recommending it to others this is Solbio and this is a toilet additive now what's the point of a toilet additive well when you use the toilet then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere now uh, if you just urinate into it then there should be no problem but if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, 
which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well no problems there whatsoever with the way it works oh there's the green stuff which is ecologically based now up until now the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff but i think with solbio uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate it works just that it works just as well so it's uh, ecological what it's got inside are natural soaps it's got natural citric acid it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely now you may say well I have constant diarrhea and so therefore I don't need something like that well uh, that, that may be the, the case but one thing that this has got it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well now I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff but I know I'm in a small minority on that one one thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all so as soon as you open the door you have this um, uh, fragrance let's say of the blue stuff sort of sort of hits you now uh, with this one here Solbio it's got a more natural sort of smell it's, it's a bit uh, like uh, eucalyptus I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance it within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so sort of when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice uh, um, next thing is is it safe to use well the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use I mean it does break things down in a chemical manner uh, I mean I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature I mean there's even there's warnings that I mean if you get it in a fish tank or something like I don't know what you want to put in a fish tank but uh, if you put it in the fish tank then the fish will die so um, this as it comes from natural things you assume that it's okay now the blue stuff as well I've noticed I always get it on my hands and not only that I mean obviously I sort of miss the toilet as well but sorry I get it in the toilet bowl I don't miss the toilet I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet and it sort of stains and it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down I don't know if that's bad or not but um, it's uh, with this stuff it's uh, it's almost translucent not quite but almost as is when you dump it out which seems a bit odd the first time you think hang on just a minute I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there uh, but but that's the way that's the way it is um, it, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff but I have heard of people uh, uh, having this problem and um, let's have another look at it because here it comes in two uh, this one one's for marine use and the others for motorhome use now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know but it's it's different this contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here this little tap now um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps now I previously worked in the packaging industry and indeed I used to give uh, talks being an expert I don't think I was much of an expert but but uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it this technology is perfectly safe I think to use it's not I mean it's often using bag in the box 
applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wines in a in a um, in a box and they've got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company I used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and I've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out I agree there was problems with them I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they, they uh, you know in the, in the van and something hit here in theory you're supposed to knock both ends down at this oh sorry so pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to to work so I mean I do accept that these things can go wrong just as I mean if you don't close a bottle properly everything will uh, go out but I, I make that part other than that the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the the way it is but uh, I can tell it's made from um, recycled uh, it's green plastic it's uh, and uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's a, it's it is a good solution for you. Now it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now I do appreciate that. Um, in um, with if there was a price difference that might be a problem although I think if you're into motorhomes then you probably like living in harmony with nature which is what I'm in it for really I think I think it's the call of nature this contact with nature and all the rest of it so I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I, I would want to do whether or not I'm prepared to pay a premium. Yes, maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it, but in all honesty, this between this one and the blue stuff, there's hardly any difference. Right, so uh, if you find that of interest, there will be a link below. It's not an affiliate link. It just tells you where to get the stuff from. Um, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all, deliberately, so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link. But I do absolutely believe in this product. So, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping or Camping Alexa in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. But I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.